Japanese officials warn it could take months to bring the nation's nuclear crisis under control. With no end in sight, the Bank of Japan says corporations are growing pessimistic as blackouts and public safety issues threaten an already tepid recovery. General Electric is offering assistance. It helped to build three of the damaged nuclear reactors. On Monday, company CEO Jeff Immel said GE will partner with Tokyo Electric Power to boost electric supply in the coming months when demand is expected to soar. We already have gas turbines on the boat that are shipping to, uh, uh, shipping to Japan and, and uh, uh, gas turbines in both uh, long and short term capacity. So I think those are things we can offer as well working with, uh, working with TEPCO. Restoring electrical capacity is crucial to Japan's tsunami devastated factories. The Iwaki diecast company has been idle since March 11th but expects to have electricity restored next week. But even at full power, plant manager Hiroto Yokoyama says the damage is done. He says the car parts supplier has already lost 50 percent of its orders. The biggest problem is that customers will have sent their orders elsewhere because production stopped. Our main priority is to restore discussions with them. The effect of massive financial losses is widespread throughout Japan's economy. But many fear public backlash over leaking radiation could last much longer. Protesters outside TEPCO headquarters in Tokyo say nuclear safety is an oxymoron. They want no more nukes for Japan. Japan has 54 nuclear reactors. We just want to get rid of all of them. In the meantime, TEPCO plans to release tons of highly radioactive water from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the sea to avert what it calls bigger dangers after efforts to stop a reactor leak with concrete failed. Milar Sega, VOA News.